What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a few days since I have recorded and put up a video. I think it was since like 19 days out. It was my last one. Today is 14 days, so two weeks on the day. Um, get pretty close now and get excited. But um, I'll explain why I haven't done a few videos over last week. But um, first things first, I just finished cardio. I need to have a shower. I'm here at the gym opening up today. So gonna get all that done and then I'll catch up with you guys in about like 15 minutes or something eat some food all that sort of jazz all right so we finished off cardio finally getting my first meal in um, it's like 10 30 already um, so I'm super hungry but today we're gonna be doing a low carb day so we're gonna have like 200 grams of carbs I was on 285 um, tomorrow we're gonna have like a low carb morning and then have a refeed tomorrow night um, just like a little play around with you know my carbs and water depletion and stuff like that. I'll run through more detail later on um, about you know what water and stuff we're doing. Does that make sense? Oh, fuck so this is just a test out um, for when I do my proper carb depletion um, and then water loading and then carb up in two weeks time. So just like a mini one. Tomorrow we're gonna have a refeed so I'm excited for that. Um, it's gonna be like post-workout so tomorrow's gonna be like push day or something. Um, today's leg day. So today's not going to be very fun, but um, yeah, so I'm going to eat this, got a pretty busy morning just here at the gym, got lots of stuff to do, lots of cleaning and whatnot, all the fun stuff, and um, yeah, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Alright guys, so pre-workout snacks, so we've got two rice cakes with like 22 and a half grams of um, peanut butter on each one, so what's up? And then over here we've got chicken, so it's 150 grams of chicken and veggies because I'm so hungry so the veggies will help fill me up and stuff. So this is going to be pre-workout and we're going to go train legs this leg day. So we've got everything we need for the gym. So uh, pre-workout coffee, no sweeteners, it's just long black coffee. Also got your water. This is my second big thing of this. We've got protein stuff, post-workout and then we're having a sauna after the session, so um, the goal is the goal is to work out and then have a sauna, and then I just got to run a few errands and coughs. We're gonna get some peanut butter and uh, some fish somewhere. So buckle up, enjoy the ride. Let's go. Ugh. And it is, it is such a hot day today, like, the only reason I'm wearing a jumper is because I'm so skinny, so this at least makes me look like a medium-sized kid. So before we even go in, I've already worked out what I'm going to be doing today. I'm not going to film because it's not my gym and it, I'll just feel awkward and it's uncomfortable and people stare at We're going to do four exercises, so it's leg day, so we're going to do some sumo deadlifts now if you've been following the channel i have a very bad lower back so i'm going to go super light probably use like 30 kilos and just do three sets of 10 then i'm going to move on to some goblet squats some leg press and some leg curls so just three sets of 10 of everything it's not going to be a very hectic session today my legs do not recover like i swear they've been sore for like four four weeks non-stop just from doing cardio all the time as well, so they just don't get very much time to recover. I'm going to spend some time mobility beforehand. I'm already sweating because it's like hot in my car. It's like such a hot day today. Um, I was hoping to tan, but anyways. And then we're going to finish up with some calves as well. So you're going to need some calves. And then we're going to jump in the sauna. It's going to be good. We're just going to finish off with coffee. So this is just a plain coffee. No sugar, no sweeteners. It's just, it's iced, because it's such a hot day, I feel like iced coffee, and it's actually really nice, so, um, pre-workouts, I'm going to cut out from now on, um, still having BCAs, so that's like the only sort of supplement, and then protein, um, post-workout and stuff as well, and, yeah, that's it, so, we're going to go kill it, going to go get sweaty, And I'll see you guys after. Cheer. All right, guys. So we just finished up training. So, like I said, we started with the sumo deadlifts. Very good. Like it feels good. Um, I only use 30 kilos. Nothing heavy at all. More just to get that form down, Pat. Um, I'm going to be starting like a new strength program after 
like my comp, so I'm just getting ready for that. Um, so just getting used to these movements. So sumo deadlifts, I did some, instead of the leg press, I used like the hack squat thing they had, um, just for something different while I'm there, because I can do a leg press back at home. I also did some goblet squats between the, um, the sumo deadlifts and the, and the hack squat. So um, what we do, just three sets of 10 of like everything, and then just finished off with um, some leg curls. Instead of laying, I used the like upright leg curl. Once again, uh, we don't have that machine back at Nexus, so we just used uh, yeah, use the upright, seated, whatever you want to call it. Finished off with some calves and the sauna as well. Sorry, you guys probably can't hear me too well because I'm on a very busy road and there's like cars going past. So it is like super hot now. I've still got my jumper on. I don't know why. Um, I think my body's just. I think my body's just super like overheated from the sauna as well. But I gotta have my post-workout stuff, um, so I'm just gonna make it up in the car. So I brought in my scales, honey, and rice cakes. Um, even though oh, the honey went everywhere, so even though like I'm sort of not traveling, but I'm not somewhere where I can have easy access to this, I still bring it in like my bag, um, and then having it post-workout. I'm gonna run out to. There's a guy walking past, but I'm gonna run out to here and that and use that concrete brick wall. So so we've got our rice cakes. So this is two rice cakes, um, 20 grams of honey. So yeah, so even if you like travel, you just gotta be prepared, take your scales with you. Take your scales with you and yeah, be prepared, hit your macros. What is going on? There we go. Alright, so I've also got, need to have post workout. I didn't pre-mix it just because I want to show you guys um, what I'm currently using um, for post workout. And also in the morning, I, so I forgot to show you guys this morning. So this is a protein, I use the skinny protein. And then uh, they sent me the um, green smoothie stuff as well, like the super green, the greens, you know, all that health. Yeah, you can just tell it's healthy by the way this thing smells. I'll, I'll open up and show you. You obviously can't smell it, but we get some light. It's legit just like health in a bag. And then we have one scoop of skinny protein. Some water. And then that's the color it looks like. Yum. All right guys, so we're back home now and we got some stuff uh, while we're in cost. So this is fish. Um, I forgot what the name of it is, but so we're going back to the uh, fish post-workout. So I'm gonna cook up, um, we're having 200 grams, so probably, I think each one's about 300 gram. I'm just gonna cook that up and have um, have that. And then also got some peanut butter. So this is like a kilo and a half, uh, 400, 400. Yeah, I don't know, like a kilo and a half peanut butter. Um, this is basically, we got this from Govita, as you can see. And all it is is just crushed peanuts. So it's just pure peanuts, it's crushed up. So it's pretty cool. Um, heaps better macros than, um, what is it, Reese's peanut butter. Let's see. I'll get the uh, macros on my phone. Hold up. Okay, so. See if you guys can see that. So the top one is the Reese's peanut butter. So per serve, which is two tablespoons, which is 32 grams. So I've just put in 32 grams. So calories, less calories because, so carbs, there's seven grams of carbs in the Reese's compared to three grams of the pure peanut butter. 16 fat, 15 fat, and then same protein. So, and then the most important one is the sodium levels. So we're trying to cut out, you know, as much sodium as we can. Not to, not heaps, because sodium is still vital for like, you know, enabling blood flow to um, get a pump and all that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so no longer using this during prep, swapping to the full natural Check out what I have to put up with. Well, miss out on at home, right? There's Ferrero 
can you guys see? Ferrero Rocher's. Chips, biscuits, so many treats. Cereal. What are you doing? Alright guys, so this is what our post-workout meal is going to look like and it is so much better than like the frozen stuff you buy from like Woolies or Coles or something and then heaps better than the tuna I was having. So it's like $32 a kilo but I may have someone that can get it to me who's a fisherman, Fisherman Dan, and get me some uh, free fish. Alright guys, so it's 6 o'clock now, uh, last meal snack I wouldn't even call it a meal so you got your peanut butter your natty peanut butter rice cakes and uh, just gonna watch like a movie or something so today was low carb day not really low carb just lower carb um, I was meant to have a photo shoot tomorrow so it was gonna be like a little carb up for that but it got called off like the other day so um, yeah just decided to stick to what I was gonna do anyway tomorrow we're gonna have a refeed I don't know what we're gonna get yet um, so I'll train like Arvo and then have maybe a dessert or something of craving like some kind of dessert. And, uh, yeah, but t today's macros was like 200, was it 205 protein, 200 carb, and then it was like 75 fat. So protein and fats were the same, just carbs was lower, um, down from like 275. So yeah, I can definitely notice like energy levels, um, just like a little bit lower but I think it's also a lot of uh, mental as well but yeah it's, it wasn't even like low low so when I get into depletion week depletion week peak week um, I'll probably drop down like to a hundred or so um, I don't think I'll need to go all the way to zero but uh, yeah we'll see what happens I'll check in with you guys tomorrow Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, today's little video and vlog. Excited to show you guys just what it's like to um, you know lead up to the competition um, and like the last few weeks and months as well um, leading up to this comp. So excited! I'm also excited just to get it done. Uh, I've got lots of plans afterwards as well. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.